All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Ties of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this is an article that was sent to me by the brother in the camp, Brother Chappelle. And um, this is from TheBlaze.com. February 14th, 2020, and um, as it reads, it says, Sony wants to introduce a bisexual Spider-Man with a boyfriend in an upcoming movie, you know, and um, when I first saw this, you know, the spirit hit me and it said, why Marvel, why Marvel, you know, because at first when I read it, I said, what, what the, f you know, but then the spirit hit me and said, why Marvel, man? Why even, you know, marvel at this? This is the land of confusion, okay? The land of great confusion, which is Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great means great confusion. And there's only more confusion coming, okay? And if you're not right with the Most High and the Lord didn't give you eyes to see, then you're going to be blinded until your death, okay? Scriptures say they must know it after death by pain, all right? So you're going to get this truth, you know, right before you pass, you know. So anyway, it says, so Sony wants to introduce a bisexual Spider-Man with a boyfriend in an upcoming movie. Andrew Garfield will likely play the role. Now you see Spider-Man hanging upside down and you see the man kissing Spider-Man or, you know, going in for a kiss. So now they're going to start portraying series. And if you know about Spider-Man, they don't never have a part one, part two, part three. They always do Spider-Mans in different series, different styles, you know, different dimensions that he can be coming from. You know, they don't kind of do it like the Avengers because he's so versatile, I guess, whenever you want to say it. But they doing a series in which now Spider-Man will have a boyfriend, you know, and um. This is Hollywood, Hollywood, and this is their agenda, you know, being pushed upon uh, the people or sheeple in this world, and especially attacking your little boys and little girls, but mainly your little boys, because really little girls shouldn't even be into this, you know, but little boys, you know, around the age of five, six, seven, eight. You know, 9, 10, 11, 12, that watches Spider-Man and looks at Spider-Man as a so-called hero, one of their favorite cartoon characters, you know, that they're going to think it's okay, you know, to accept the behavior of homosexuality. And uh, that's why the Lord, you know, basically through the scriptures, the Lord said his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. Matter of fact, let me um, read that. This is Amos chapter 9 and 8. It says, uh, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Okay? So, what is that sinful kingdom? That sinful kingdom is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. North America. There is no other kingdom on this planet that is more greater sinful, okay, than this land in which you call America. So the Lord said, I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. You know, the same way the Lord did to Sodom and Gomorrah. This land today, Babylon, a.k.a. America, takes on the customs and the ways of Sodom and Gomorrah. They manned themselves after that fornication that Sodom and Gomorrah was doing. So it says, saving, I will not. Utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Why? Because the Lord has a remnant. He has an election who he's going to save. Verse 9. For lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is shifted in the sheave, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And why is that? <clears throat> because Israel been scattered throughout the four corners of this earth. Going back into the time of 70 AD. Which our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Who the world inly called Jesus Christ, he prophesied about the dispersion, the dispersed, when the Israelites had to flee Roman persecution, 
A lot of us went down into the west coast of Africa. We lived in separate communities, lived there for about a thousand, two thousand years or so. And um, you know, until Esau came with those cargo slave ships and had the Hamites, you know, go through the land and round us up, capture us, and that's when our slavery begun. All right, and that's why we're here now in uh America, which was known as Asarif before then. All right, so it says, like as corn is shift in the sheaf, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth, because the Lord is going to deliver the elect from all from whether from let me say, He's going to deliver them from wherever they at in the world. Israel has been scattered throughout the whole world, and we are amongst the other nations. Some of us, you know, could be called speckled birds. You know, we look some of the Israelites look like the other nations as well, but when they wake up to the fact that they're Hebrew Israelite. And in believing in the Lord, the Lord is going to deliver them. Verse 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right. So the Lord is specifically talking to his people. And he said that the sinners, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And that sword represents that thermonuclear fire. Okay. Which is the lake of fire that's going to be brought here upon Babylon the Great. It says, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Now, that's the pride of uh, the two thirds of his people that despise this truth. You know, you scoff, you took the light in your scorning. You hated the prophets, the messengers who the Lord sent. You know, scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. But you didn't seek repentance. So you was numbered. So anyway, let me go back to the article now. I'm going to read a little bit. And this one is going to be quick. It says, Sony wants to break ground by introducing a bisexual Spider-Man in an upcoming movie. Sources reportedly told, we got this covered. All right. Now, this is your Hollywood, man. Hollywood. You know, the witchcraft, you know, that, that basically runs your television through, um, you know, they, uh, their witchcraft. All right, your TV shows, your movies, you know, everything comes from out of here. They said what? Sources reported that we got it covered. Meanwhile, they've been planning this. All right, you know, you see how much confusion today is. You got Jake in their 40s and 50s saying it's okay, you know, to be, you know, to be a homosexual. So there you go, man. It says Tom Holland who currently plays Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, has lobbied for a gay Spider-Man in the past, and now it appears that his wishes are that much closer to becoming a reality. So the actor Tom Holland, he basically argued, you know, or lobbied, as they say, for a gay Spider-Man. And I will understand why, because he must practice that lifestyle, you know? So why not, you know... When you have these individuals who practice that lifestyle of homosexuality, they love to push it upon straight men and women, you know, because they are so eager of being accepted, you know, so they forces it upon you, you know, going back into <coughs> with the prop, the, uh, the, the man of the most high, one of the Lord's um, prophets, Lot. Uh, in the time when he was in Sodom and Gomorrah and the story and the account where they were so aggressive, you know, they wanted to go into the angels, you know, they wanted to, you know, and that's how it is. You know, you, you, you guys that practice that lifestyle, you're very aggressive. All right. But claim to be victims at the same time. And that's Esau's model. You know, here it is. He's the enemy. He's he's the the uh, the. Uh, uh, he's the uh, the prey, you know, but instead he turns out to he's the victim, you know, anyway. Um, it says uh, verse, uh, well, not verse, third paragraph. The entertainment blog reported that sources have informed them that Sony is developing a live action Spider-Verse movie. That would unite Holland and his predecessors, Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield, 
Now, if you know about Spider-Man, Spider-Man, they carry different series. Like I said, I don't know if I said it already. Um, They don't have movies, you know, as in like one, part one, part two, part three. They just have different styles of Spider-Man, different dimensions he come from or, you know, and they can have a different story and different series every time. So um, it says the report said that the studio is partially keen on getting Garfield back as they want to portray his verse in the hero as bisexual and give him a boyfriend in the film. <clears throat> Garfield played the lead in The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2 in 2012 and 2014, respectively, before Holland signed on to play the hero in the series reboot. Garfield had floated the idea of gay Spider-Man back in 2013 during an interview with Entertainment Weekly. So it seems the actor would be more than willing to play the part should Sony move forward with the project. All right. And it is. They're going to move forward with it. You know, I was told also they're going to have a, a female, a female Wolverine now. They're going to have a female Thor. You know, they already had their first lesbian in Marvel Comics, which was, I think her name was Marvel the first gay lesbian woman to introduce into the Marvel um, world. And now you have this uh, Spider-Man being a homosexual, you know, so this is that Greek culture. And um, yeah, let me get this. Uh, this is, you know, let me get this scripture and I'm going to wrap it up with this because yeah, I can barely want to, I can't say what I want to say, but it is what it is. This is all about edifying and brothers are the knowing. We know that this is the land of uh, great confusion. And uh, things are going to even get more worse and more confusion out here, you know. So, this is a disgusting ass place, man. It's disgusting. Anyway, Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Now, who is the great whore? All right, that disgusting whore. Now, we know what the word whore is. It's a disgusting woman who would do anything, you know, sexually with anyone, you know, for anything, you know. So let's just see what the blue letters say about whore. If I can find it. Here we go, whore. And it kind of looked like it says porn. Strong's G4204. Parne. 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 It says a woman who sells her body for sexual uses. All right. It says a prostitute, a harlot, one who yields herself to defilement for the sake of gain. That is truly. America, man. Okay? The defilement for the sake of gain. And that's what the Lord is comparing, you know, um, America to what? A great whore. Is this not a cash cow for everyone, all these other different nations to come here and use and abuse and go back to their country with riches? You know, the Lord metaphorically is comparing um, the mannerism and the way that this place is custom by these Edomites as a great whore. That's all the Lord is doing. All right. A woman who sells her body for sexual uses. A prostitute, a harlot, one who yields herself to defilement for the sake of gain. You know, this is great idol, I idolatry, you know, here in this place. All right. It says any woman indulging in unlawful sexual encounters is not this place. You know, is it not laws passed for same sex marriage? You know, and they parade it as if it's something to be proud of. You know, they have given rights over to this type of uh, lifestyle. And that's why I must say the Lord reminded us that if any other kingdom shall live ungodly in this manner, given over to fornication, okay, they're going to be destroyed just as well as Sodom and Gomorrah. That's Jude 1 and 7. Okay, 
So it says any woman indulging in unlawful sexual intercourse, whether for the gain or for lust. <clears throat> An idolatress of Babylon, Rome, uh-oh, the chief seat of idolatry. Is not America the modern day Rome? We're in the second leg of Rome right now. Okay? We're in the second leg of Rome. America is part of prophecy. America is that holic, that great whore. So I just wanted to go through that real quick. And uh, let's get to two. It says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Okay, now fornication means all unlawful sex. You know, and um, fornication can be used spiritually and uh, physically, man. All right, because why? You know, the Israelites are committing fornication by worshiping false gods. Okay, all these different false, these false gods out here, you know, and not worshiping the true living power is uh, adultery, man. So anyway, it says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication through her democracy, through the false philosophies, through the religions. Through the idolatry worshiping, through, through, you know, we got different countries today that pass laws and homosexuality because America's doing it. All right. It says, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman set upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. All right. And the seven heads and ten horns represents the EU, European Union. All right. Um, the, the NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, right? When now you have uh, Brex, uh, Brit Britain, you know, which is Brexit, just left, you know, the EU, which is prophecy, you know. Um, now you also have France on the verge of leaving, which is according to prophecy, you know. So it says, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple, in scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Because symbolically, when you check out this place, this place was, was rich, you know, resources, you know, the way that things were cheap back then, you know, it was a lot of work back then. Um, it's land here, you know, so... This place at one point was like a, a golden cup, but now it's become a a, a, a dross cup, okay? A old, rotten, corroded cup. It says, in precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication, all right? And upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and abominations of the earth. All right. And that's this place which you call America, man. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of holics and abominations of the earth. You know, and that's why through Hollywood, they're pushing now uh, a gay, well, Spider-Man having a boyfriend. So basically Spider-Man is gay now, you know, and they're introducing this to your little boys and your little girls. And they're pushing this agenda. <clears throat> they're going hard with this lifestyle. And sooner or later, the Lord is going to take this place out. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, thus saith the Bible. And I'm going to leave on this, which I, you know, just, just for the edification's sake. Excuse me. Jude 1 and 7. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. All right, because this right here is strange flesh. It's not right. No matter if the government declared that it was okay to do, the government is not God. This is not right. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth. For an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. 
Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. So, you know, there you go. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. I want to um I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.